Ah, okie dokie folks, I just recorded the last two intros for Beyond the Lines. I am done with recording stuff for videos. It's Friday and uh, this week was so not routine because, uh, well, there was a lot of building in my studio going on. And uh, I will show you clips in a minute here. But uh, before I do that, uh, just let me say I had, a, I had an awesome week, but a very um, exhausting one. Um, sleeping and working and everything did not follow any routine by any any measure. It's like, nap. But I do like the end result. It was uh, very necessary to get things done in the studio. I was um, uh, quite, well, bugged by my old setup and I really like, and I love, I love, I actually love that hubby worked with me to uh, get things improved and now I'm very happy and now I can work way more efficiently and uh, be less upset, I'd say. Um, today is the first day of usual work, like what I normally do in studio, and it's Friday. It's like, what the heck? But um, I'm going to... Uh, I, I just recorded two intros for Beyond the Lines, and uh, that's the first... Oh, no, that's the last two videos that I will do for this year because um, I worked on something else and I'm gonna tease it here already. It's gonna be um, quite a long time until that series comes out, but I'm currently working on it. So um, yeah, you get the first teaser here. I will have something like an advent calendar this year again on my, um, on my channel. I didn't have one last year due to the fact that, well, Hmm. I was so not in the mood to record something in August because I always work on the advent calendar stuff in August to have it finished and ready in December or November and December like this year. Uh, but I thought, well, this year I'm going to have one. I felt like it. So uh, I did a lot of... Uh, coloring stuff and working more on my love for colors, having realized how important that is for me. And um, I will say the name of the series to you already. I have a title. It's like, yay! Kind of like working backwards this time. It's um, Coloring Countdown to Christmas. It's gonna come up. Uh, hence, I just finished uh, the last two episodes for Beyond the Lines this year. And now I'm going to uh, finally schedule and block for next week because I'm uh, so late. And uh, we'll do, if I have time, the same thing for the week after and the week after because I'm having things recorded already. And uh, then it's time to work on Draw for Initiative and CCTC, Coloring Countdown to Christmas. I uh, work on those videos and I hope I get a lot of things done today. It's um, pretty late. It's um, half past six in the evening. I woke up like an hour and 20 minutes ago. Like I said, sleeping schedule far off, totally shitty. But yeah, I mean, I got to work with it. And uh, then tomorrow we're going to record Gamers Couch for Istanbul. We have a lovely game there on the table planned and it's called Istanbul. So if you are curious about that game or maybe know the game and just want to see what we think of it, uh, hop on over to Gamers Couch on Sunday and uh, you will hear what we have to say. Um, yeah. And now I'm going to leave you with the clips of this week. It's uh, Monday and Wednesday. That these are the clips. Tuesday and uh, Thursday, Tina was here working on Draw for Initiative and I just uh, did some cleaning up. Uh, but I'm going to have lots of sped up clips for you for um, Monday and Wednesday. So enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or share it with your friends or do both. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe because that really helps. And you can see whenever I push uh, another video into the public space, which is pretty much daily. So you will be notified. Just saying. So have fun, everybody. Happy weekend. And I'm going to see you next week. And maybe if I can manage, I can give you a sneak peek of counting, coloring countdown to Christmas already. I hope. Keep fingers crossed, guys. Have fun. Bye-bye. So my week started off with watching hubby work. Uh, he's putting on finishing touches to the woodwork before we can assemble. And uh, that was Monday. Monday morning. Rainy Monday morning. We had a rainy weather this week. It's like, ah. But then again, it's not too hot, which is very beneficial when it comes to woodworking for hours and hours and building that stuff for hours and hours on end. It was like pretty much all day, Wednesday and uh, Monday. But yeah, I love watching him work. It's very soothing and interesting. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. He's such a goofball. <laughs> Seems like the storage unit might come to life tonight. We'll see. And it did come t to life that night. Uh, was like 4 or 5 a.m. that I was finished, but it was very cool. I was the helper's helper, and uh, we did uh, build the sides and the midsections of my storage unit in the living room and uh, just carried them up to the studio. You can see the stairs on the left. Uh, that is the way to my studio. We built four of them. Yeah, four of them. It was quite some time. I took quite some time to get everything done. But it was nice. Hobby and I could chat while we worked and um, yeah, just have fun and work. And there we are up in the studio. All of the parts are built, as you can see. And now we just have to put that stuff together. It's like. Hmm, doesn't take any time at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was really a long, long night. But I'm amazed. I'm really happy with how the storage unit turned out, how clean the storage part, like the uh, part you get into uh, my studio. I have like two rooms, this one here and uh, the other studio room where I actually work and I really love how clean it is now and how much room I have for walking and uh, we even did put up uh, the printer and the 3D printer up here in the studio. I had space for that so it's not in the living room anymore which is totally awesome and uh, I also got back my photo shooting area like where I, for the longest time I've been taking photos in my studio uh, on the table that I work at uh, for the videos and the blocks and stuff but I do have a photo uh, backdrop curtain and stuff in this front room here and I couldn't use it for the longest time because I didn't have space but now I have space again which is freaking awesome finally <laughs> back to having space. So uh, I've been working on smaller surfaces also because I had to take the photos in uh, on the table that I work at and uh, I'm looking forward to getting back to the bigger uh, canvases and papers and stuff. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm there again. But... That was only possible because I could double use this uh, uh, space here where we both are standing at, Hobby and I, because now I can uh, stack things onto 
the storage unit as well that I had laying around in that storage room part of my studio before and now it's just on top of the canvases and the papers and that's so much space you will see that later in the clips so that was oh, it was a relief it was exhausting but it was awesome and one of the greatest wedding anniversary gifts my hubby ever gave me I mean, every year he does something awesome, but this one has a very uh, particular space in, in my heart. It's like, yeah, I'm thrilled. <laughs> I'm goddamn thrilled that um, I have a clean studio now. Got some lights there as well, because twinkle lights. I mean, yeah, <laughs> twinkle lights and girls. And hubby is always goofy when uh, we are working. So I slowed this down to real time. I was pinning the twinkle lights to the wall or the roof, whatever you want to call it there. And uh, he was just sitting in the storage unit waiting for me to be done. And uh, then this happened. I'm not gonna comment on it. I just find it hilarious. <laughs> I, I have to say I dropped pins <laughs> so they're somewhere behind my storage unit now he helped putting them into the wall mm -hmm. well I commented shoot anyway twinkle lights worked so that was awesome and uh, we could actually play hide and seek in those storage units they're really big <laughs> Having a break there, just chatting before I get to work, uh, putting all of the canvases into the unit. So I'm having the tall ones on the right hand side, medium and small ones in the midsection and uh, cardboard boxes and papers on the right hand side of this um, unit here. So pretty much three boxes, three different things to store in there. And the, that wall with the um, uh, paintings that you just see on the left-hand side of the screen, that one is my photo shooting area now. And the paintings and that lovely banner moved to my other studio room and have a space there. So yeah, just before camera died, uh, that is Wednesday. So another day and... Um, you can see the storage unit is filled, like yay! And uh, now I just need some curtains there to keep off light and dust. And I took some very uh, heavy uh, curtains from uh, IKEA. They are super thick, so they definitely keep away sunlight so nothing fades. And they also keep away dust and we're just hanging them. Uh, on the storage unit. So, yeah. Took us a while to get that done, but I mean, we want to have it last, so we cannot just very quickly throw that thing on there. It has to stay for years to come. So there are the curtains. I just have to cut them, uh, shorten them to the uh, point that I want them. And I can use the remaining fabric for something else if I feel like it. Maybe one day. I don't know. I haven't decided on anything yet. But I'm just going to cut the uh, curtain and hobby is helping. Because then it is just way quicker. Once that was done, uh, by the way, I hated the trip to Ikea. I always hate trips to Ikea because it's just so much stress. I don't like it. But it had to be done. And uh, then we're building three more of those Billy shelves there. Um, I wanted to have the whole row of on that wall as shelves because I needed more space to store my art supplies. And um, I moved things around a bit uh, 
the table that was in that corner on the right hand side that you cannot see currently um, did fall apart so I had to replace it and uh, we are building three more of those units and just for being able to move the existing shelves to the spot they needed to go I had to well get everything out of the shelves and then getting everything back into the shelves so that was done Wednesday night um, hubby did build the shelves I just put in some um, what are they called he he built the main frames and I did put in the shelves and then did clean everything up and sorted everything while he was having time off then finally <laughs> like he he pretty much did spend all of his free time this week and last week to build the storage unit and uh have the shelves up in my studio which is totally awesome it's like i got the best husband i really do but now that everything is done, we both can go back to routine work. Here you can see the row of shelves. Um, I got more space to walk on that section between the tables and the wall. And uh, I'm just sorting everything into the shelves because every shelf has a certain thing. Like one is papers, one is acrylic colors and oils. One is embellishment and stamping. Others are... Um, uh, markers, pencils, coloring books, and then I do have one for um, pastels, ink, and watercolor, stuff like that. So I like to divide the shelves for the supplies, like, so that I can find everything, you know. And uh, I did do that Wednesday night. This is like 3 a.m. in the morning or something. <laughs> it took us a really long time to get everything up. And I'm exhausted. I'm tired at this point. Anyway, uh, I'm very happy that everything is sorted. And uh, next week I can go back to routine work. Well, not really routine because I got my videos already shot. But I have to do the Etsy paintings. I have to do, make a draw for initiative videos. And I have to work on the coloring countdown for Christmas videos. So... There will be lots of artwork done and I'm very happy that I don't have to take care of the storage part of artwork anymore. This is done and I'm I'm very happy with how it turned out. So yeah, it was a week's time well spent. Very happy girl. Signing off now.